Hello guys and welcome to Steam Video Tutorials. I'm going to show how you go through the account creation. So I uh, logged in, signed up and then logged in with my Facebook account, authenticated and it brought me to this point. Generated a, a private key for me here and I just re-entered it and I'm going to create a, a user account. So. So I understand doesn't recover lost passwords. Da, 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 da. Passwords do not match. Access them back in. Good to go. At this point it says I must write this password down. How about two. Right now, at this point, I'll go ahead and click sign up. I've saved my password in the text file and I'm gonna sign up. Click this button here and ask me to enter my password in again. I'll take the password I just copied, I'll paste it in, click login. And there you go. Account has been created. And so now, let's just take a look at the site itself. So I'm gonna click on the Steam icon in the upper left hand corner. And here you can actually see the different posts here. So let's just walk through this. This is the uh, icon that's been put, I'm sorry, the graphic that has been put in as a thumbnail and it shows up here on the first page this is the title and then this is a subtitle information here this is the upvote button this is the amount that the post has actually earned um, this is when it tells you from the current time when the post was uh, posted how long ago 19 hours this is the user that actually posted and then this is the tag. This icon here with the 445 shows the number of votes that this post received as well as the comments. So going over, go back to the top, you see this trending um, value here and there's a upside down triangle. You can click on that. And then this is the sort order. So if I wanted to see what the hot posts are, click on that does reordering I'm not exactly sure what determines hot uh, but it's something in the algorithm or the selection criteria and I can just scroll down look at different posts um, so those are the different uh, sorting criteria moving to the right this um, hourglass is for search currently it's unavailable and then this button here is for submit a story this is how you go about uh, to submit a post. So if we were just going to do a sample post, say sample post. This is a sample post. And you want to tag uh, your post. So I'll just say this is a uh, sample. And I'm going to say uh, do not vote. And I'll also put it here. Do not vote. Do not vote. Now I'm just putting this here so as it shows up, people will not actually upvote this. They shouldn't if they read it. But this is how you actually complete a post. So if I say go ahead and post. You can actually see that this post is here. It's under the new category. And it automatically was upvoted. I'm not sure who upvoted it so quickly. I don't know if it could be me. Nope, there's a couple. Uh, these are my tags. I'm not sure who. Let me see if this is my upvote or not. Yes, this is my upvote. 
now. Um, so now let's say after I completed that post, as you can see here, I clicked on it and I'm back into it. I can re-edit it if I need to. If I had a typo, I can re-edit it and post. And then also you can see a button here that says share. Um, three of the popular social network sites. So I can uh, share it with Facebook, share it with Twitter, share it with LinkedIn. You would all you would need to have each of these accounts already established. And when it links you over to those, uh, should automatically log in if you've logged into either one of those prior to. If not, it may prompt you for credentials. Okay. So let's go back out here. Anytime you want to get back to the home page, you can just go up and click the uh, Steam icon in the lower left hand. I'm sorry, in the upper left hand corner. So we submit a story. Now, if I click on this icon here, this is actually where my uh, it takes me to my account. So on my account, Again, this is the blog. So blog shows my post that I've actually authored. Uh, post will show any comments or original posts that I've made. If anyone actually reply to my post, they will. Curation rewards is, a, um, is an area here where you earn rewards in two ways on Steemit. So just like we submitted a post there, if we receive upvotes, it would earn rewards. But another way is for when people will go out here. So I say I go out here and say, I'll, let me find a find a post in new. Let's read and see what strikes my interest here. Du, 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 du. Okay, I like this post here. Just the title it grabs me. How do we bring about ideal money? All right, so. Each of our lives, each of us is living a life for our best of our ability. Da 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 da. Okay. So let's just say, I read through that post and I was like, okay, it's, it's worthy of an upvote of mine. If I go through and I click upvote here, what I just did was actually curate some content or I voted on some content in which the algorithm of Steemit will determine that I've made it popular. And if that's repeated by many other people, then um, it would help the algorithm raise that post to the top. And so that's what is called curating. Now, how that works over here, going back to my wallet, if I go to curation rewards and 24 hours, you'll see that this curation reward, I may receive some uh, rewards for that. So that's the second half of how the reward structure here works. Either you're curating, which means you're upvoting or you're commenting on other posts, or you're actually authoring posts, just like I did when I created the first one. Now let's get to our wallet. In our wallet, you have three types of assets. You have Steam, which are liquid tokens that can be transferred to exchanges and converted to Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. You have Steam Power, which is a long-term holding token. And when you're paid out, you get paid out 50% for author rewards and 50% of curation rewards. So let's see how that breaks down. Say for instance, if this post earned a dollar, right? In 24 hours, this post will pay out based upon the votes that are received at that point. If I go back to my wallet, I would see 50 cents in Steam dollars and I will see 0.5 in Steam here. And so that will be split up between these two sections, 50% here and 50% in this section. Right now, Steam dollars, Steam dollars is a, a um, another portion of Steam that actually pegs to the US dollar. So one Steam dollar should always be approximately worth one US dollar. Now that peg fluctuates some, so it may be a little bit less and maybe a little bit more. Okay. Now let's go back to Steam here. You can see under each of these values to the right of them, you have these triangles. Anytime you see a triangle like there, it lets you know that there are more options. It's actually called a context menu. So if I click on this, you can see that I can transfer Steam. I can transfer it from one account to another if I want to um, give some steam to another user 
I can ask them what their Steam username is, Steam username, put it here, specify how much, uh, and put a memo in there, and I can transfer it. Also, this is useful if you're transferring Steam to an exchange. An exchange may prompt you for your, um, it'll give you their wallet name, which you will put in the two, the amount that you're gonna send, and typically they require a memo field, and it's used to identify your transfer. Right now, powering up. Think of powering up as I'm gonna stick some money away for long term savings. And when I put it in long term savings, I'm gonna earn a bit interest on it. And the only way I get it out, well, I'm gonna earn a bit interest on it. So if I power up, I earn a bit interest. But also, the secondary effect of that is the more steam power I have the more influence I have when it comes to voting. So if I have a great deal of steam power and I upvote someone's comment, then more rewards will be uh, allocated to that post. And if I have a little bit of steam power, then let's award, less awards. All right, I can also deposit steam into this account. So if I went on to one of the uh, exchanges that currently trade Steam, for instance, Bittrex or Poloniex, I can actually buy Steam on that platform and then transfer the Steam over to here. Um, in this case, I could actually buy Steam here from uh, this internal market, which is powered by, I believe, Block Trades, and send that over. Okay or there's an internal market. So with any time you have a market, think of eBay. eBay is a marketplace. Steam has this internal own internal marketplace. So if I go here, I can buy Steam or I can sell Steam. So there's an inverse relationship here. If I buy Steam, I'm impl implicitly selling Steam dollars. If I sell Steam, I'm implicitly buying Steam dollars. So this is the order book. So you can see the different prices. The spread is not that big uh, between those, which is good, which means you, you get a fair price. Um, what's going on? I can actually put an order in and, and buy and sell Steam and uh, Steam dollars. Okay, so I'll go back. So that takes care of the four areas. Again, I can transfer Steam to other members or I can also transfer it to exchanges if, um, if they provide their Steam account name and their memo. I can power up Steam, where it would be transferred from Steam into Steam Power. But if I do, it will be locked up for, uh, it will be locked up and the only way I can get it back is I would have to power down, which is a two year process, two year weekly process in which the amount of Steam Power that you have will be broken up into 104 payments and you'll get a weekly payment. I can also deposit Steam into this account if I don't want to earn rewards or if I don't if I don't curate or if I don't post articles, I can just buy Steam on the open market with Bitcoin. Or I can buy and sell Steam that I have in my wallet. I can buy and sell it on the internal market. So that takes care of Steam. Not on the Steam power talked about that a bit but let's see what the options are we can do with it we can power down again that's the process of taking so let's say this is three dollars of steam i can take this three dollars of steam and you divide that by 104 if i powered down whatever that amount is i will get those as weekly payments for the next two years or unless i stop the power down process and again i can purchase steam uh, on an exchange or I can purchase Steam here from Block Trades, either Steam or Steam Power. It's just showing that same option again here in deposit as well as deposit here. So I can deposit Steam or deposit Steam Power. And then lastly, this is the dollar peg for Steam Dollars. Steam Dollars can also be transferred to another user. Steam Dollars can also be converted to Steam, which is a seven day process if you elect to do this or I can go on the internal market again and buy and sell my Steam Dollars. I actually 
um, had a video earlier where I spoke about the permissions, so I won't go into that. Uh, see my video on uh, understanding permission keys. I'll go through and give you a, a good overview of what those keys are used for. And then finally, change password. On change password, I can go in here and enter in my current password, generate a new one, and store it, and actually uh, um, change my, my password. And again, when the only thing I will say about this, this password here represents your owner password. Your owner password is like a super user password. If anyone gets your owner password, they can take advantage and um, wipe your account out. They have full control of it as if they were you. So if they were to get that password, log in as you transfer uh, that money to a different account, then um, you have lost all the funds that are in that account. So I hope that's a decent overview of the Steam site. And one other thing I'll show here before we conclude is if you click on this icon here to the right of the avatar, this is a menu and there are several options here. Again, you can explore, which is the same thing as search. You can look up the Steam and read the Steam white paper. It goes into great de detail about uh, the economics and the, the system and design behind Steam it. You can buy Steam Power. Uh, you can go to the internal market. If your account is ever stolen, uh, you can go through an account recovery process. You can change the password. And then also recently there was a Steam it chat that was um, built and so if you click that, it'll redirect you to the Steam chat. And then we have witnesses. Um, you can vote for a witness. Uh, those witness, those are guys that, um, guys and girls that mine um, because Steam is a proof of work um, token. And so they're mining Steam and helping the uh, network stay uh, secure. And privacy policy, privacy policy, as well as terms of service. So I hope this serves as a good overview uh, of the the Steam It platform. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments area. Thanks for watching Steam video tutorials.